Hey, what's up? Zach from Wave Riders 14 here. And um, you can't tell I'm a little sick. That's why the audio might sound a little different because my nose is a little stuffy. But because I'm such a nerd and have nothing better to do, that's why I'm doing this tutorial. I just want to get it out there. I haven't done one in quite a while. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So in case you're wondering, this tutorial, if you can't read the title, then you just randomly clicked. This tutorial is about what the best rendering settings are and how you can achieve the best result with whatever film you have. So we're just going to get started. So if I go over here to the Explorer tab, I have a couple of videos right here already. If we just click on, like I'll click on this one, and this is raw footage, and it tells you right here, the video is 1280 by 720, and it is 29.97, basically 30 frames a second. So if we're going to use this, we can drag this on here. Oh, there it is. Okay, we'll change it back to half. And this is footage I used with my brother. He was kind of the dummy for this video. And this is the main footage I used. So we saw, we see here that the video is 1280 by 720. So we go up here to this, the properties, or Alt-Enter. We can click that, and you see that you get this. So the template, you, pit, you hit the scroll down bar and it has all these. So we're just going to pick the one that's closest. So it's seven, or 1280 by 720. So we look here, this is 720. It's 720p HD. So it's HDV, a high definition video. And right here it's 1280 by 720, so we know that's right. And 30 frames a second. So that's going to be our template. So we can click that, and we're going to want none, and of course you want best for render quality. And if you want, like if your camera is mainly like 1280 by 720, you can click this, start all new projects with these settings. So it's automatic, that's going to be the default. But, so I'm just going to click OK. Because it mine was already set, but of course, if you change something, you just hit apply, and then OK. And so then we can go here to the render as. And I like, I, I personally like this Sony AVC MP4 because it's pretty good quality, and the files are decently small so that's just my favorite one so you can pick any template that doesn't really matter but I'm gonna just click custom and of course you want to include video obviously ABC okay and then this the frame size this was 1280 by 720 and I'm not responding I don't think but we're gonna continue anyway so high definition 1280 by 720 and those don't really matter that much but I mean, you can just copy these anyway and then we're gonna you can click the go to the audio and this even tells you right here well it would tell me all right right here go back to custom it tells you the audio right here 48 16 bit. Well, that's not even on there. But I don't really mess with those. I just leave those how they are. And of course, I like the MP4. And then the project. I never use project settings because it might be messed up up here. So I just go best anyway. Like I don't. I don't like taking the time to just double check it or anything because I'm lazy like that. 
then you just click save. Now, say we want to work with a 1080p video. Well, no, that's pretty much the same as the 720, just change the numbers. So let's work with a non-HD video. So we'll just use the main part. And we can go up here to project. And this is, we're just going to go widescreen. Because, well, I mean, I tried them both and there's not really a difference. And widescreen just sounds more professional. So you just change these how you want. Best, of course. Click apply. And then, of course, if you're rendering it, custom, change it to NTSC, and then the frame size, 480, or, excuse me, 720 by 480, and project, best, just click OK. And in case you're wondering, like, right here, the template, you can name it whatever you want, and then you can click this, save template, and right there. No, it's not. It's right there. But I don't really want that one. So that's just how you can do that. And then save. So I'm going to show you a couple examples here. This one, and for all of these, I set, it, I set it up so that I had three cameras, like one here, one here, one here. And they all, they're right next to each other, and they all filmed the same thing. So it's all the same same video, just kind of like a slightly different um, positioning. It's off by like a couple, maybe like a total of a couple feet. So here's my brother. We're a little laggy. We'll just pause it at one spot. So as you can see, like take this for example, this is a nice sharp edge. It's like you can tell it cuts off right there. The colors are nice, kind of pretty decently vi uh, vivid. And of course this is 30 frames a second so it's a little blurry. Nice face by the way. That's, that's a nice one. And um... Yeah, you can just see, like, it all separates the colors pretty good. So then we go back to this one. This is a 720p. And there really isn't much of a difference between this one and the 1080. You can notice right here a little that there is, it's not quite as sharp. The colors are still good, but that's just not, the edges are a little different. And then this is the other one. Yeah, as you can see, a little fuzzy in places. Especially right here, you can see lines going across his hands. But if you watch my vlog videos, this is the camera I use. But... Well, we'll get into that a little later. So we go back... Oh, man, why did I do that? Oh, well. We go back to this one. So this is the 1080p. Normal, rendered out at 1080p. And then you have this one, which was rendered out at the 720 by 480 So it wasn't even rendered out in HD. And it was filmed in 1080 but rendered out differently, and it's still pretty good. We can look at a little comparison here. You can see right here the edges are a little less sharp. And here, pretty nice, but you know, not much of a difference. And if we look here, this is the 720 rendered out at 1080p HD. So, I mean, you, with this. If it's a low quality, you don't want to render it out at much, like a real higher quality. Because then it just looks bad, it stretches out the pixels, 
I mean, I use, like I said, I use mine for my vlogs at this setting, the 720 by 480, but I render it out at 720 HD, just so I can get the little HD button on my YouTube videos. But it doesn't, I mean, it's, you can get away with it, but you can't, don't go 1080, because it just looks a little bad. But, um, like I said, 1080 at rendered out at a less quality it's still like you can get away with it because you're not stretching it you're actually compressing the files so in a way you're gonna get a slightly better picture at times I'm not like this one right here like I said the edge isn't real sharp but I mean you know you can get away with it for sure so, um, that was pretty much it. Those are the render settings I use. And, um, by the way, I have, oh, if you didn't notice, I kind of, um, since YouTube raised their upload capacity, so it's now like 15 minutes, I'm trying to utilize that. I don't know what I'm at right now. Um... Oh, 13 minutes, 14 minutes. Oh, I guess I better wrap this up. Um, so anyway, I have a Twitter, so you can follow me for new tutorials if you want. Oh, by the way, this, I kind of messed up at the beginning, so it's still recording, so I'm actually probably only at like 12 minutes. I don't know what it is. But anyway, just leave me some... Um, tutorial suggestions in the comments because like this one I just wanted to post a tutorial because I haven't in a while so I just decided hey I'll do this one and for those of you wondering no I did not I'm not copying anybody else's tutorials this is what I like to do this is my render settings I mean so like I'm not oh this guy I want to copy his tutorial I'm not doing that um so yep yeah, that's pretty much it Zach, Wavearks14, subscribe, especially if you want to see me get shot with a stun gun, check out that video, um, anyway, that's pretty much it, I'll see you guys later.